Hello everyone, my name is Kel, and welcome to another episode of Monday Morning Magic. Today, we open up a pack of Russian Cons of Tarkir. So, as always, with foreign booster packs... Man, the packaging does feel a little loose compared to... Uh, I mentioned this in my Dark Ascension one. As with any foreign booster pack opening, there will be pictures right here of the cards in English in case I don't know what they do. And so you can just read to verify. I'm mostly only going to talk about cards um, that I already know what they do, and maybe a little bit of the art. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack in. Will we get a fetch land? Alright, let's do this. First card. I believe this is a 3-1 with prowess. And we have this archer. Probably has reach. And I would be willing to guess more. This one, I am not sure. Maybe kill a dude and get plus one plus one or something? I don't know. Alright, so this is one of the common clan cards. There's one for each clan. This one is alright. It has flying, uh, morph, and I believe when you morph it up, you can give a dude plus three plus zero and some other effect. Yes, I believe so. Maybe not flying. I think this deals one damage to every creature without flying, and maybe if you have... Um... Uh, ferocity? I forgot the mechanic. Ah, well. Then the deal six damage? I don't remember. Man, I should know the names of these. The set was very recent. I didn't draft it that much. Even though it is a fucking sweet draft set. Ooh, I should know what this does. I think it's like some sort of pseudo removal. You can pay some amount of mana and tap the creature down. Or is it untap it? Maybe it taps the creature down and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. You can pay six to untap it. I believe that is what it does. All right, it's one of the dual lands when it comes in. Comes into play tapped. When it comes into play, you gain one life and it adds a blue or a red. That pretty cool um, Russian script. Kind of cool. We have this dude. He's got morph and hexproof, I believe. All right. So our first uncommon. I don't really recognize it. Forgive me. Ooh, this gives you some one ones. Six one ones? Six one one warrior tokens, probably. Oh, this is like trample over. Oh, I don't remember its effect exactly. Maybe it's ride down? Something like that. And our rare. So the rare is crackling doom. It took me a second too realize what the name was. Um, you'll probably see a quick edit there. It costs Mardu colors, a red, a white, and a black. It is an instant, I believe. Might be a sorcery, I don't remember. Um, I believe it makes your opponent lose two life, and they must sacrifice the creature with the largest power. It's a pretty, pretty alright card, and it might be for every opponent. Don't call me that. And, uh, land. Ooh! We got a foil ghost fire blade. Foiling on that, it's, uh, not, not too bad. It's hard to tell in the picture, or in the, in the image, but action doesn't do too bad. Anyway, it's an, uh, artifact equipment for one colorless mana, or one mana of any color, rather. And the equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. Equip cost is three, but if it costs two less, if the creature that you're equipping it to is colorless. Maybe if there's a uh, Voltron colorless general, this could be good for them. Other than that, it's not that great. Maybe for cube? Probably not. And then we get a forest and a snake token. Nice. Blood. 
All right, as always, I will decide what I would pick if I was chaos drafting this pack. And this is a tough one. The cards in the pack aren't great. So the options that I've narrowed it down to are Crackling Doom. It is a three color card, very hard to splash, very hard to play, but it is a powerful effect. And if you're doing Chaos Draft, maybe you can get some Sweet Fixing. Or I would simply take the Sweet Fixing, keep my colors open, and possibly try to pull something else sweet from the next pack. Super safe bets would be cards such as this dude, and this dude, and I wouldn't fault you for wanting to take the cheap blue removal. Alright guys, so that was another episode of Monday Morning Magic. I hope you liked the video, and I also hope to see you next time. Have a good one all, and bye-bye.